Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tinktronics channel where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to be cleaning, we're going to be removing a motherboard from an old computer and cleaning up a little bit, removing the wires, uh, taking it out of the motherboard, and we're going to be cleaning up some of the thermal paste off of the processor. Without further ado, here we go. And first, we are got the case opened up. We're removing fan cables and such. Or we're gonna take a picture of everything so that there's no confusion when we go to put it back together. So the first thing you want to do is get your camera, phone, and just snap pictures of where your wires are, just to be sure that everything is in the right location when you go to put it back together. Now the, the motherboard we're looking at is the ASRock H97 Pro 4, supports fifth generation Intel Core i7, i5, i3, Pentium Celeron processors with socket 1150. The processor that is currently installed is Intel Core i7-4790. And you can see the specifications right there. So, we've, we're gonna start the process of pulling the cables off the motherboard from the case, as you can see. And then the ones that you pull from the power header and the hard drive light header and all that, they're marked, so that helps. The further we're pro proceeding with pulling the cables, that cable you're looking at right there is a big motherboard power cable. Um, CPU uh, processing power as well. So it looks like everything's disconnected. And at this stage, what you want to do is you want to get your handy screwdriver out and you want to take note of where all the screws are. And then you just want to start unscrewing carefully the motherboard. And this is just a different angle. So what we're looking at is, you know, getting it off. You have to remove every screw, no doubt, before you pull this motherboard out of the CPU case. And a longer screwdriver would help too, because sometimes, you know, it's kind of, but I like the precision of short screwdriver so it depends on what you're comfortable with and what works for you so i believe all the screws are almost up and i think there's just one or two last screws to get okay okay and he's just got that one more corner screw to get, and I think this motherboard will come up. Actually, two more. The corner screws at the top of the motherboard would probably need to come loose, more than likely. Okie dokie. So after this last screw, the motherboard should come up nicely. It should be free of all cables, nothing should be blocking it, and you should be able to pull it up freely. And here it goes. Gonna have to tilt it a little bit to get it out. And then you're gonna have to unscrew the fan because we're gonna replace the cooler on it in the next video. Place the cooling assembly and the fan on the next video. That's your Intel stock cooler. And you can see the thermal paste is dried up on there. And I'm in the process of wiping it clean with alcohol, 90% rubbing alcohol, and a Q-tip. Stuff is very, um, 
kind of kind of greasy from what I remember, you know, and, but it was dried up. But once you applied that alcohol, it got it came greasy. So it took a little while to get it all cleaned up. And then as you can see, it wanted to stick to the Q-tip, which is no big deal. So really, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have for this video. If you are liking the video, be sure to like the video on your way in and out. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And feel free to leave a comment in your thoughts below. Let us know what you think and everything like that. And there we have it. We have everything cleaned up, ready for the assembly of the new cooler. And everything else. Just a few touches, wiping around the edges because some of that thermal paste does slip off of the edge of the CPU. And that's that. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.